everybody welcome to today's video i am going to show you how to make this lovely rounded pool just a disclaimer off the top you guys this pool is not actually round this is a little bit of an optical illusion but it does give us that really nice backyard aesthetic that we want when we're building and it's still fully functional fully swimmable and i think it looks pretty cool anyway let's just jump right in uh, step number one you want to put in a pool so you want to pick the octagonal pool we want to put that puppy down and we're going to size it out to however big we want it to be. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go with a nice size little oval pool. I don't want anything too big. So that's kind of where I'm feeling. The next step is to put down this flat round. I call this a foundation. Um, I mean, you guys may call it other things, but to me, that's just what it is. So we'll put that down. We'll duplicate it. We'll make a second one. So now we have a half circle. I mean, it's kind of a rounded square more than a half circle but okay so duplicate that again turn it around again stick it back down then you want to extend it out and make it the same length as your pool now we want to change the width make it the same as your pool as well all right on to the next step we want to go and create a little rectangular room here off to the side of our pool and then we need to put the grid on so throw on the grid grab your little foundation here lift it up and we're going to put it on top all right, now if that did not work for you, as sometimes can happen, what you need to do is shrink it down, then move it and put it up top. Once it's moved it up top, then you can pretty easily just drag it out here so that it matches your pool. Um, you do want to make sure that it is the same length and the same width. And then once those are right, then you wanna just cut it down here so it is just like a floating ceiling over your pool. Then we want to get rid of this little room that we created here. So you want to slide it out this way and then inch the back out there. Now that that is gone, hit the delete button on your keyboard. You could sledgehammer and get rid of it. Hitting the delete button, super quick, super easy, gets rid of that guy. Next step here is to grab this level and you can actually place it anywhere you want, but we're going to drag it all the way down to one step above on top of the pool. That's as far as we can go. And then we're going to grab the fence tool. We're going to grab this fence here, which is called a smooth keeper. And we are going to edge out our pool. I go with white just because the tiles in the pool itself are white. And I want it to match the best I can. So now I have a white trim here. And our next step is to grab our sledgehammer and delete the floor. So now we have this floating oval here around our pool. So what we want to do is we want to go here onto the exterior trim and frise. Click that one, click the exterior trim, and then pick your trim. I'm gonna turn the grid off because for me it's easier to build without it. Turn the grid on or off however you like it and then put your exterior trim on. Essentially, that gives you your round pool. This is fully functional. This does everything you need it to do. You could just leave it as is. You could send your sim for a swim if you wanted to and uh, you can enjoy it. You don't have to do anything else. They can walk right over that edge right there. They can have a great time. So we're gonna get her out of there. And then we'll go back into here and we'll finish it off. So now if you have base game, perfect, right? So let's throw in a rock floor around it. Let's throw in a nice little patio here. I'm gonna make that, a, let's upscale it just a little bit. There we go, throw in a nice little patio. And then you wanna grab a foundation. We wanna draw out our foundation. Because of the way this is, we can't actually put the foundation right to the pool. What we can do is we can draw it out here. And we can put it um, around it. So what I have created is kind of the illusion of a deck around the pool. So click on what you've created, copy it, flip it around, and then we'll put it back down. It is putting me on the second floor, so you have to change your angle or change your floor. We have built this entire thing from the second floor. So we go back to the first floor here, we set it down, and then we can just extend it out to the side. And this is going on what I said about it, my disclaimer on this being an optical illusion. If you look right now, as we are on the level, let's just throw the flooring on here. Um, if you look at it right now, and then I just want to go into the flooring here, pick a trim. I always go with a knock on wood platform trim in a wood tone color so it looks more like a realistic deck. Um, but if you were to go onto the first floor, you see it is just an octagonal pool. 
But if you were to go on to your upper floor level, you have a nice, beautiful, round-edged pool. Looks pretty good. And then, um, yeah, your base game, you're pretty much done here. You can, you know, you can throw in your ladder. Not me on the round part. Sorry, you can throw in your ladder. You can throw in some lounge chairs, but basically you're done. Now, if you do have to get to work, you are given the option to use the fence for window shopping. With the window shopping fence, you can actually make it look like this um, piece of trim that we had to put in here hardly actually exists, which is kind of nice. It makes it look a little, a little less like you had to mess with it to make it work. Um, for me, I like that, so I'm going to use that little window shopping fence here. I love this thing. I use it as often as I can when I am building. It's great to transition from carpet to tile or from wood to wood or any different flooring. It's nice to have a transition in there like you'd have in a regular house. So I really like that for that. Anyway, that is all you need to do for this pool and it is done. It is swimmable. We can send our lady in here to have a great time. You don't even need the ladder. I just put in the ladder because, you know, this game has conditioned me to needing a ladder in my pool or my sims will drown. But yeah, that is it. That is all. And there you go, friends. As always, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos. Dag dag!